All right, so I got this thing off of the ramps. And now I'm just trickling a little bit of oil in there. In fact, pretty sure I've got like maybe a, a tenth of a quart left. I think you can it'll focus. You can't even see anymore, right? Um, <clears throat> but that's typically how this has been going. Every time I've changed the oil, it's usually about 4.8, something like that. But what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna pull out this dipstick, I'm gonna move this funnel out of the way here and show you what this dipstick looks like. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna wipe it off actually. That's the best way to do this. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna set this phone down here for a second. In fact, maybe I can actually lean it up there. Now you see me. Okay. If y'all take a look at this. If it'll focus. Focus, my friend. Focus. It's not quite at that notch yet. Okay. We want it to be at that little notch to the right, that little hole. Okay. It's almost there. Yeah, but I'm not on the most even ground. So what I'm actually going to do, because it's, it's not unsafe. It has plenty of oil. I'm gonna drive it around maybe a day or two and then see where it lies. And then I'm gonna add some more. Uh, but in the end, I may end up using that whole thing, but not the end of the world, cause I got plenty. So um, thanks for watching. Just wanted to show you all, it's very simple to change oil, especially if you got one of these fantastic Subaru vehicles, especially from the 90s. These things are built like a tank and you can drive them even when you have a rear main seal leak, you can drive them for miles and miles and miles. I think I've driven this thing probably 60 or 70,000 since I've owned it. Um, got a good quality battery in there. I actually cleaned the terminals not too long ago because they were starting to get some buildup there. And uh, this is also a good time to check all your other fluids. You know, check your windshield wiper fluids, check your coolant, your radiator fluid, check your brake fluid, uh, check your air filter, which I'll probably do here in a second and uh, power steering fluid right there. And uh, go ahead and check your tires for good pressure and fill them up if you need to. Uh, but that's all I got, basic oil change. You can do it on your own. You can save tons of money. I think, uh, you know, Jiffy Lube and those type of places nowadays are charging anywhere like 90 to over a hundred dollars for a simple oil change you could do by just buying some oil, getting a filter on your own for about probably 30, 35 bucks, depending on the deal they got going on for that week. And you can do it fairly quickly in probably about 30 minutes. If I wasn't filming this video, it'd probably be like 20 minutes. And that's it, folks. Post questions if you got them. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe.